So now let's assume your model's fully trained. You've deployed it into production. Congratulations. Um, okay, and it's been in production for a little bit of a while now, and you've been monitoring it. Um, and just like you've been measuring various metrics, how might you be able to tell um, when it's time to actually refresh the model that's in production? Yeah, so typically a model will need to be refreshed when there is a degrading in performance of the algorithm. So generally you will benchmark the performance on some sort of training set, and perhaps at some point you see that the performance of your data in production is not matching up to uh, the performance on the training set. Uh, and so some of the ways that you can tell is basically just using some of the metrics that you chose for your initial problem. Uh, for example, if a precision metric or a recall metric uh, or perhaps the loss or the accuracy, all of that assumes that you do have, for example, the ground truth label for the data incoming in production. Um, however, you know, that is possible for certain cases and that can be used as a way to benchmark and see if it's actually differing from your training performance. It isn't always that straightforward because you don't always have that source of ground truth in production. So alternative strategies can include monitoring data distributions of the input features for your model, as well as prediction distributions and also confidence scores from the algorithm itself. So it really depends kind of on your use case and there's no one best way to do it. However, there are definitely different ways of, uh, you know, helping solve that problem. Okay, yeah. Um, I like how you mentioned that it's really on a case by case uh, uh, basis. You gotta really uh, look into like the domain specifics of your problem and think about it that way. So can you give me um, some reasons or um, some in insights for why model performance might actually differ uh, in production versus uh, in development? Yeah, so there's a lot of possible reasons for why this could actually happen in production. However, I can give one example, which is uh, something called concept drift, which is where the relationship between the input features and the actual outcome variable changes. Another way of thinking about it is that typically a supervised machine learning model is represented by the probability distribution of probability of Y given X. So concept drift is when uh, this underlying distribution actually changes. And so all the assumptions when you train your model don't actually apply anymore. So that can often be a common reason as to why uh, performance isn't matching what you would expect. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because um, if you trained on one set of data and the new set of data is pretty different, uh, it's very possible for your model to just like not uh, not be trained well on that new distribution. Mm -hmm.